Welcome to BI TV, your fortnightly recap of global business intelligence and analytics news, views and reviews. Now, firstly, it seems that the slowdown in BI spend resulting from industry confusion relating to the misuse of terminologies BI, analytics and big data may have been slightly overstated. So there was a recent article titled BI software market projected to reach 40 billion by 2018. And this was off the back of research from technology business uh, research um, that basically found that it's going to reach 40 billion by 2018. And that's a, that's a huge uh, mark. Uh, to, to put this into perspective, uh, Gartner reported that uh, the BI market uh, totaled 13.1 billion in 2012, and that was up 6.8% from total 2011 revenues of 12.3 billion. Now, the next story that we want to look at is entitled Midnight, Business Intelligence ROI or TCO data a must in most cases. And this is a video post on searchbusinessanalytics.com. It's an interview between site editor Craig Stedman and consultant William McKnight, and it was recorded at the Pacific Northwest BI Summit. Now, despite the uninspiring headline, the video discusses the importance of BI teams uh, to understand the difference between uh, return on investment and total cost of ownership. And uh, you should check out the short five minute video to hear why it's important to define whether a BI project is aiming to improve ROI or TCO. Learn specifically what both ROI and TCO mean from McKnight's perspective and get McKnight's thoughts on if and when organizations should take leaps of faith on investing in BI initiatives. The third item on the agenda is a white paper written by data visualization expert Stephen Few and it's titled Common Pitfalls in Dashboard Design. Now whilst the paper was written in 2006, uh, its content still remains highly relevant to today's dashboard design conundrums and despite the report being sponsored by a BI entity, a company unassociated with BI TV, the quality of Few's insights remain unaffected. Now, it's based on his book, Information Dashboard Design, the Effective Visual Display of Data, um, and, and Few briefly highlights the 13 most common pitfalls in the visual design dashboards. So, the top 13 dashboard design no-nos, according to Few, are exceeding the boundaries of a single screen, supplying inadequate, inadequate context for the data, displaying excessive detail or precision, expressing measures incorrectly, choosing inappropriate media of display, introducing meaningless variety, using poorly designed display media, encoding quantitative data inaccurately, arranging the data poorly, ineffectively highlighting what's important, cluttering the screen with useless decoration, misusing or overusing colour, and designing an unappealing visual display. It's a must-read resource for anyone considering rolling out or updating their BI dashboard initiative, and the paper also discusses what dashboards are, what they should do, and why they're important, the primary goals and challenges of dashboard design, and the importance of designing dashboards that are aligned with the way people see and think. Now, a large amount of new research and associated commentary has emerged about big data and its adoption over the last few weeks. New Vantage Partners Big Data Executive Survey 2013 asked financial services and healthcare providers within the Fortune 1000 uh, those organisations known to invest most heavily in data initiatives of scale about the adoption of big data strategies and solutions. Now, the survey suggested that among this group of businesses there had been a surge of progress in big data utilisation, sponsorship, investment, implementation and value which has fuelled a, rap a rapid rate of adoption. Now, the executive summary of the report states the 2013 survey highlights that a robust 91% of executives responded that their organisation has a big data initiative planned or in progress. Of these, 60% of executives report that at least one big data initiative has been implemented, with 32% of executives reporting that big data initiatives are fully operational, in production or operationalised across the corporation. Now, in terms of investment, the report found that 68% of respondent organisations plan on spending uh, more than $1 million on big data projects in 2013 and that over time uh, this figure is expected to rise with 88% looking to spend at least $1 million by 2016. Now, at the other end of the scale, 50% of Fortune 1000 organisations said that they intended to invest $10 million or more in big data initiatives by 2016, up from 19% in 2013. 
Now, the percentage of those investing in large scale big data projects, those uh, costing an uh, excess of 50 million, is forecast to rise from 6% in 2013 to 14% by 2016. New market research released by our ABI Research uh, contextualised these figures, forecasting global spending on big data to exceed 31 billion in 2013. The study, titled Unlocking the Value of Big Data in Enterprises, also estimated spending to grow uh, at a compound annual growth rate of almost 30% over the next five years, reaching 114 billion in 2018. Now, despite the headline proclaiming that two thirds of COOs have big data on agenda, a recent ComputerWorld.com article by Carl Flinders reported that over 92% of COOs have not taken their big data initiatives beyond the planning stage, according to research from Gartner. Now, Gartner found that while 64% of the 720 organisations surveyed globally have big data investment plans, less than 8% have actually uh, deployed big data technologies. However, the research did report that 30% of respondents had made some form of big data technology investment in 2013, while 90% plan to invest within the next year, and an additional 15% plan to invest within two years. The research, titled Big Data Adoption 2013 Shows Substance Behind Hype, suggested that 2013 would ultimately end up representing a year of big data experimentation. Research also indicated that 20% of organisations are piloting and experimenting with big data, while 18% are developing a strategy and 19% are knowledge gathering. Now, media and communications organisations were reported as the most active investors in big data technologies, with 39% having already invested in big data. 34% of uh, banks and 32% of services firms have also already invested. Planned investments during the next two years are highest for transportation at 50%, healthcare 41%, and insurance at 40%. Geographically, organisations in EMEA lag behind North America and Asia in big data investments, according to Gartner. Enterprise IT News and Analysis website, biztech2.com, drilled deeper into its analysis of Gartner's findings, reporting that North America currently leads the adoption charge with 38% of organisations from the region saying they, that they have invested in technology specifically designed to address the big data challenge. Companies from the Asia Pacific region were the most ambitious, with 45% indicating that they plan to invest during the next two years. Now, while the survey revealed that organisations are aiming to address a wide range of business problems using big data technologies, uh, business cases that improve uh, process efficiency and customer experience are the most common. In the 2013 survey, 55% of organisations said that they are currently addressing enhanced customer experience using big data, while 49% are using big data to address process efficiency. And of course, knowing which business challenges and opportunities you're going to address with a big data initiative is vital. Considering that the same research found that while 64% of enterprises have big data investment plans, 57% are still grappling with how to get value from big data. So, is this a case of putting the cart before the horse? Time will tell. Given the findings outlined in our previous piece, it seems appropriate to look at the steps that can be taken to kick off a big data project. Now, so the article we want to have a look at is titled How to Get a Big Data Initiative Off the Ground and it was compiled by Nicole Laskowski of searchco.com and it was from an interview with the founder and principal research analyst at consultancy Nimitz Research Group. Nimitz says that you shouldn't obsess about the right governance and defining the perfect goals. And so they say, you know, get a rough and ready consensus of what you think you uh, might need and go out and get a proof of concept. So the six tips uh, that they offer for getting a big data initiative off the ground include uh, one, show, don't tell, and think local. And what they mean by this is uh, use data already uh, on hand to get a prototype up and running quickly. Two, think of IT informatics. Uh, one of the best ways to design a big data prototype is to figure out a question that requires combining not only data on hand, but also different kinds of data already being collected. Three, add it to the budget. Nimitz research suggests devoting a line item to your annual budget uh, for big data uh, is essential, even if no actual resources are being devoted to the initiative this year. Um, to back this point, Nemitz cite research uh, which suggests 
that companies have a 22% higher success rate with a defined big data budget. Four, get a sponsor. A high-ranking advocate uh, provides the attention and support a big data initiative will demand and can help management remain focused on the big picture. Five, consider investing in new tools and new talent to avoid project stagnation associated with steep learning curves and fixed mindsets. Six, form a tiger team. A big data initiative uh, should not be siloed as a segment of the IT department. So Nemet suggests forming what they dub a tiger team, which includes both IT and business members to help communicate the company-wide value proposition and analyze how a big data program could affect everything from infrastructure to analysis. Now, we're out of time again, but I'd like to leave you with some uh, valuable further reading that relates to the topics we've covered today. So check out these two great TDWI checklist reports, both available for download from tdwi.org. The first is seven steps to deploying visual analytics for improving actionable insights. The second, seven steps to making big data accessible to executives. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.